Shalom, children of Israel. My name is Mikael Massa. Google Hangouts is not working. Now I do a private video and um, greetings to all my Bantu people outside there and to everyone outside there that love the prophetic words and love to know everything that is hidden inside the Bible. Then you are here right. Um, today's topic is crossing the road, the Red Sea. Did it really happen? First, we have it here, Red Sea. Why um, this sea right here is called itself Red Sea? It's not even red. Then, next question, crossing the the sea. Did it really happen? This is the question here. And how did it happen? When did it happen? Who are the people that crossed the Red Sea? If it happens. Now, these questions are very really simple. We will answer them soon. Now we have here someone that says that the biblical uh, story of Exodus is fiction. So why someone should say that? Yeah, because Christians and Jewish people, even a lot of prophets outside there, um, they telling us about this story. And then we have Hollywood. Hollywood. Whoo. Even in schools we learn this story. Now, here's someone he says, he's talking to his rabbi. Shortly after I started to question my belief in God, I remember talking to my rabbi, or rabbi in English, about Passover and the exodus from Egypt. My rabbi knew that I was starting to doubt the supernatural and ridiculous aspects of the story. He told me in confidence that while the basic story is historical fact, the supernatural elements might have been an exaggeration or might not have actually happened at all. He assured me, however, that even doubt there might not have been pledges of frogs and Moses might not have parted the Red Sea. Now, this is important. The Jews were slaves in Egypt. And the important thing is that there was an exodus and that is the core of what Passover is about. Now, he's, he, he's going on and he says, When I first heard that there was not a shred of evidence discovered in the Sinai desert that a large number of Jews had wandered 40 years, I thought that wasn't such a big deal. Now, the problem that we have here, the Jewish rabbi is telling him that the, he should shut his mouth. Yeah, he should not ask because it's fiction. It's only fiction, yeah, for the Passover. Yeah, for celebrating Passover. But why it is fiction? Why? So, it's because still I didn't think at all that much about it until years later when I stumbled upon the article called Did Jewish Slaves Build the Pyramids? by Brian Dunning. This article really got me thinking about the Exodus story again. Dunning article reinforced my skepticism about the Exodus story and fueled my feelings of betrayal. It was thought for most of my life that it was historical fact that the Jews were slaves in Egypt. So, this is the first question. Who went out of Egypt? Who went out of Egypt to go to the Middle East? The problem is that we have today is uh, the most people do biblical works without the Ruach. And uh, they never ask the Most High. They read the book and they think if they read the book, everything that is inside the book, it is correct. But I can tell you, we are reading today a book that is written by the enemy. And 
That's why I can prove you easily in that topic that <laughs> uh, we never crossed the Red Sea. Now, Egypt is also Israel. There is no Israel, there is only Egypt. Okay? But we are coming to that soon. Yeah? This is Hamite area. Ishmael is dwelling here. You will see that. I will jump to that soon. First, we want to see more proof what the people think about yeah, uh, the Exodus. Now, we have heard that the rabbi said there is no proof and there is no the, 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 the Jewish people they went never over to Israel never because this wasn't even the Jewish people that were slaves in Egypt the, um, we have here Elise Reckless Elise Reckless she said it too yeah she said it she, she, she said Africa which you can find on Google and Amazon he said the kingdom of Judah was in West Africa and that the people were said to be Jews. Now this man, not just some regular man writing books, he was a renowned French geographer and was a professor um, in geography at Uni of Brussels. That is, so he says also that the, um, that the exodus is a lie. Okay, he said that the Exodus is a lie. So the Bible says that Judah would go into worldwide slavery, and here from this book and their maps, also that area during that time that is just so happened in the tribe of West African called Judah. And we are coming to that very soon. So that guy right here saying there is no Exodus, it's never Exodus happened, it's fiction. Why? Because the Jewish people was never slaves in Egypt. So who was the people that was slaves in Egypt? This is the question. Bantu people, the uh, migration and exodus is the Bantu migration. So easy is it? The Bantu migration, this is the migration of the so-called exodus now did the bantu go to the middle east that you call today middle east let's say northeast egypt or northeast africa no i say very clear no look at this First of all, we will read another article about this too. Now, this article exams that young earth creationists and biblical literalists claims regarding the historical reality, reality of the exodus of the Hebrew people from Egypt, as well as the evidence relating to such claims. Mainstream history and archaeology now consider the Exodus to not have happened in the manner described in the Bible and the story to be narrative put together between the 8th and 5th centuries BC based on the earlier oral traditions and collective memories possibly dating as far back as the 13th century BCE. Christian and Jewish literalists do not accept this. A detailed examination of the innumerable issues raised by the French Velikovsky and Roll alternate, alternate chronologies is beyond the scope of this article and will be not be attempted here. The problem that we have is there is no proof. There is no proof 
yeah, that the Israelites, yeah, that we call today Jewish people, crossed the Red Sea. Even it's written here. The spirit attempts by number of biblical archaeologists and even larger number of amateur enthusiasts over the years. Credible direct astrological evidence for the Exodus has yet not be found. This is the problem that we have here. Yeah, it's fiction, it's Hollywood, but it's not the truth. So, I want to prove the world wrong because, um, Matthew 13 it says clear that we are sent as angels to prove them wrong and later we will fight them with Ruach and throw them into the pit of fire. There's a lot of liars outside there. They, they love to make money on YouTube but they do not understand the Ruach not a little bit. And this is the problem that we have today. Now, let's go. Of course, 3,000 years ago there were no vehicles in the desert, no roads, and no navigation systems. Therefore, the Israelite could not make the shortest route from Egypt to Canaan. <laughs> the problem is this word, this name right here. But we come later to it. As on a modern transit route, instead they traveled as nomads on foot or with camels, Christ crossing their tents. According to the tradition, they remained in some places for a long time. There, they experienced many things, even those that made them doubt if Yah really existed. Shortly before the end of the journey, almost all of them lost their lives. Then Maza sent 12 spies into uh, the land that Israelites were to take. Upon their return, ten of them told of huge people and intimidated the Israelites into wanting to be scared and turned back. Only Joshua and Caleb applied it to trust Yah, but the people did not listen to the two. They refused to fight for the promised land, cursing Moses, Joshua, and Caleb, and even nearly stoned the ambassadors. Terrorian, Yah decided to let all who doubted him die in the wilderness. Now, brothers and sisters, um, this is the wilderness, right? As you could see, yeah, uh, I wrote something very important here. Um, it's 400 kilometers by by plane route. 400 kilometers from. Let me check. From. Now, from Egypt to Israel, you need, yeah, uh, by car, eight hours, and by food, like sixteen hours. From here to here, okay. Okay, from here to here, yeah. This is 400 kilometers flight route. Okay? Now, what I want to say, I want to say that all these things here are man made. All the names, they put, they took the Bible, put the names inside this desert, they took the Bible, 
they s because all the names here Edom, Canaan, you can find all the names also in Africa. Ashur, Azeria, all the names, all the names, all the names here in the Middle East. Also, the names in the Middle East that call it the Middle East today, yeah, you can find it inside Africa. All the names here. Yes, we are sure our forefathers they came from Egypt. But this Middle East here and this desert here is Egypt. All this is Egypt. All this here is Egypt. Upper and lower Egypt. We will come to that soon. And you will see that Egypt goes into Sudan. Into South Sudan. Into Chad. Egypt was big. Yeah, you will see that soon. I will prove it to you. That this here, Kadesh Barnea, and all this, all these man-made names, biggest lies. Only lies. Now, let's go to the scriptures to prove them wrong, because I love it to prove people wrong. And the Most High said unto Mazar, Go on before the people and take with thee of the elders of Israel and thy rod, wherewith thou smotest the river, take in thine hand and go. So Maza smote the rivers, the rivers become red, brothers and sisters. The rivers become red. Yeah. These are the things that you should know. Now, watch this. You see? He has made the rivers red. So, even here, he turned all rivers red, yeah, so, it become red everywhere, every river of Egypt become reddish, yeah, full of blood, something's looking like this one. Nile from up above with parts of it in stark almost blood red coloration. The red You see? Now, what happens next? Thus saves the most high, in this thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Behold, I will smite with the rod. This is mine hand upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned bloody. Now, and the brothers shall fetch compass from Amazon into the river of Egypt, and the goings out of it shall be at the sea. Now, we are going to the right maps. All the Nile River becomes reddish red so why we call this particular area right here red sea now we answer the second question the red sea is also man-made they had Berlin conferences, they had a lot of conferences they changed names, they changed countries, they changed they, they, they built up new countries. This is that what the Edomites do. These people are deceiving the whole world. Even the prophets are deceived. And some of the other elects. 
Now, like I told you, Upper and Lower Egypt. If we talk about Egypt, we're talking about Hagarites. Hagarites. We're talking about Hamites. Hamites. We're talking about Ethiopia. We're talking about a Put with Canaan. Yeah? So, you should know who are these people. Yeah? Like Kush, etc. All this particular area here that is dry. 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 Do you never ask yourself why the Most High gave the Bantu people a land that is full of milk and honey? Full of animals? We will see that soon. Let me not say so much. We are going to the book of Maccabees. This is the 5th Maccabees 2, 11 to 17. Here are the resources. He also, on that day, set free every captive which was found in Egypt of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin. So, the people that were captive in, 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 in Egypt were the Jewish peoples that we call today Jewish people. So, but there is only one people that came out of Egypt. These are the Bantu people. So these people are the Jewish people and the Benjamites. That they might return to their own country, Syria. Hallelujah. Now people would say, mm, Syria, mm, Syria, Mikael. Syria, we know where Syria is. It's in Iraq. So, hey, this is, this is, this, this, this is. This is uh, the uh, Islam. People from Islam would say, Yes, this is! Abraham came from Syria and stuff. No. Their home country, Syria. Here. Now. Syria, like I have told you, is in Africa. Assyria. Ashur. Canaan, like we have read before. People would say Canaan are these people right here that left before in Israel. It's a lie. This is a lie. Canaanites are the African people. African people. But we are coming to that soon. We are coming to that soon. Wait a little. <laughs> Hallelujah. The number of them was about 130,000. Moreover, he ordered money to be distributed among them, so that the several denarii came to the share of each person who receiving this departed. Denarii is what? Arabian money, right? Okay. In their own land. Then he commanded a great table of be made of the purest gold, which should be large enough to contain a representation of the whole land of Egypt and a picture of the Nile from the commencement of its stream to the end of it in Egypt from the commencement of its stream to the end of it in Egypt yeah hold it with its various divisions true the country and how it lays the whole land he also ordered the table to be set with the precious stones and this table was made and its carving was finished and it was set with precious stones and it was carried into the city of jerusalem present to the magnificent house and arriving in safety it was placed in the house according to the king's command and truly man never be so um dinari is Arabic money right now I will explain brothers and sisters this is Babylon and Nimrod Babylonian or the Queen of Shaba the uh, Nimrod this was all his areas so if you see all these areas, it means also all this East Africa belongs to Nimrod, to ancient Nimrod. Egypt 
the same thing. Egypt, yeah, um, all this particular area here. Who are the ancient uh, Egyptians? Sudanese, um, this Eritrea, Ethiopians. Then we have Somalians, yeah, Chad, Libya. These are the ancient uh, the Egyptians here. So if they're talking about Dinar, it's because even the Arabs today are Hamites. Okay, some of them are Shemites because of Abraham. Yeah, this means so. This means not they are Israelites. This means also they are Hamites, but they have the Shemite blood in them. Yeah, and they. That's why we have India, up to India, up to here, Iran, all these people, mixed people. Indo Kush is called the Asian India. Indo Kush, this means India, Ethiopia. Esther 8 and 9. Read it. So, this means all this particular area here is Hamite area. That's why you have the Moors and stuff like that. Okay? And we, the Bantu people, that becomes a little more people after Joseph, after Joseph, um, uh, 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 he, he was like a king in Egypt but after he died another king raised up and we become a lot of people in Egypt so we went out from Egypt now another thing that we could read is that uh, the Nile River that comes up from where from where the Nile River comes up Brothers and sisters, watch this. The Nile River starts in Congo. The Nile River starts in Congo. I will find better maps. Yeah? So this Nile River right here, where is it here? It goes down to the Congo. Now here you can see it. This is the Nile River. South Sudan and it goes down here and here it becomes the Great Lake okay but this map I like it here we can see everything much better let's go further like I have told you Ashur Egypt Ethiopia ancient Babylonian and the land of Canaan is inside Africa he says, I will bring you to a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scareness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it, and a land whose stones are iron, and out of the woods hills thou mayest big brass. This means uh, I cannot find any brass over here, I cannot find uh, hills over here, and we hold. The name he is very important now next when you go you shall come into a people secure and a large land for Yah had given into your hands a place where there is no want of anything that is in the earth so everything should be in this land here as you can see it's desert like I told you before why should Yah give his people a desert land this Nile River is belongs to the Congolese people it came from Uganda past Uganda South Sudan and up to it to to, to given is Gihon River this is the Gihon River it's past Ethiopia Somalia blah, 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 up to Egypt 
This means if the Congo people, so the the Judah, which can't would kept or uh, close the waterways, yeah, from the from 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 uh, how called uh, Nile River from the Nile River. These people up here, they would have nothing to drink and nothing, no water. Yeah. So, uh, as you can see, I am not bluffing. I am not lying. Yeah. But you will see soon why I'm showing you now the Nile River. Why I'm talking about the Nile River. And why I'm talking about that the Israelites did not pass the Red Sea. But what kind of river did they pass? They passed the Gihon. They passed the Nile River. And they went into a large land. Now, Ecclesiasticus. The thing that had been, it's that which should be. And that which is done, is that which should be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. We take this with us. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Hallelujah. Now, most of people would think, now, mm, what do he want with these verses? Everything that happened here, yeah, that the most people from us, we told them, let's go, let's go, we have to go to the new land. Some of them left in Egypt, that so-called Israel today. Some of them left there. It's not that everyone went uh, 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 with us to the new land. Some of them left in Egypt. They suffer. This is the time the Romans came, uh, Muslims came. This is the time of Christ, yeah? This is the time of Christ. But our migration of the Exodus, uh, uh, we went out from Egypt. Why do he say that everything that passed will come again? We will go to another country. Our people today are here. Here. They are here. And here. And even down here. The problem is, what will happen? A lot of them will not hear the voice of the Most High. And they will stay in their countries. Yeah, they will stay in, their, in those lands they, where they are captive. So, then, because they are stiff naked, they will suffer. And this not, did not happen only in Egypt. This happened with Noah. This happened with, 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 with in Egypt. This happened with Christ. This happened always. And this will happen again. The stiff-necked people, they will stay and suffer. And we, we will go to this particular area. And we will come to that soon. You will see. Abraham went to this area. Maza went to this area. Yeah. All of us went always to this area. And later, we will go back to this area. That's why he says there is nothing new under the sun. Now, watch this. This is the Nile River, you see? I can follow it. This is it. You see? And here it becomes a great lake. The yeah, Lake of Albert and Lake of Victoria. You see, all this, this is the water, it brings off, you can see it's, it's quite like dry, it becomes a little bit bigger, you see, they have no water, here these people they have no water, because um, they have not the blessing of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, they do not have it, none, no other people, only the Bantu people, have this kind of blessing. We can prove it. That's why they have all animals in their country. That's why they have a large land full of wood, stones, iron, fishes, full of everything. 
nice weather. You can see in California it burns always. If in Africa we burn, you see all these green places? This is all everything trees, 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 trees. If it would start to burn here in Southern Africa, it would pass all this way up. And all the Africa will be full of fire. But why does not happen? Africa is hotter than California. Huh? Well, you see all this tribulation all around the world, but Africa not. It's because the Most High dwell in Africa. He's looking upon it day and night. Now, let us continue. He says, But Jerusalem which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. What means that? If you go to Romans 9 and to Galatians 4, I guess, is talking about Ishmael, yeah, that he is from Hagar, he's, uh, um, he's a bird of slavery in Saudi Arabia, like the new Jerusalem today. So this means this Jerusalem today is a slave area like Saudi Arabia. They're talking about these places here as a slave place. But the real Israel, it's free. And it's the mother from all. Because these people here was feeding the whole world. They will feeding the whole world. You know, it comes. Africa will feed the whole world. And it does feed the whole world. With, with goods, with minerals, with everything. If the African American would come back to Africa, and everywhere we scattered, these all these people will have nothing, they will die directly. They will see, oh, 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 now it's finished. But today we are in our slave countries and lands, we're thinking these people are feeding us for free. They're loving us and each other. No. Um. This is a myth. That's why Israel called the mother of us all. It's not born in slavery. It's free. Uh, I have prepared some articles for you. Um... Why I have now opened this this uh, 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 this page? This page shows up something. Uh, the Bantu people were slaves in Egypt. This is important to know because we need the proofs. Hmm? Who was the, 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 the people who were uh, slaves in Egypt? People say Jewish people. There is no proof. But here we can see even the language are the same. You see? The animal terms quite the same. You see that? And here. You see? That's why um, it's very important to learn the Bantu migration. Like Nyoka, Nyoka in Kiswahili Bantu, yeah, in Asian Egyptians is serpent, Nick, you see? This is our language, yo. This everyone can understand these languages from the Bantus. It's quite a little different, yeah, in some places, like Yambi, Yami, Nzambi. But it's almost the same. Yeah? Like you can see the hieroglyphs. Yeah? Why? When did the Jewish people, yeah, uh, mingle themselves with some black people in Egypt? But did happen. M Moses took an Egyptian wife and stuff like that. So, there was, a, there, there was a mixture. But you cannot see in the Middle East, no one of them, that have this kind of mixture and the other thing that you should know no white man can live in the Middle East or in Arabia and that time before 
because in that times we have here like 25 degrees 40 degrees it was super super hot like it will become now again this is prophetic the most high is coming with the sun now they could not live in this particular areas because of the sun so if you see the Arabian people today all of them came from Libya all of them come from Sudan all of them come from Chad it's Somalia these are Hamites the Arabian people are Hamite people later they took wives white white women and stuff and they 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 they, they. of course uh, yeah they mixed each other now watch this this is the Bantu migration yeah they passed Somalia they passed uh, 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 Sudan you see that This is very important. You should know that. No. Like everyone of us know that the Egyptians, uh, the Asian Egyptians, like Sudanese, Somalis, mo the most of the people should no more uh, t uh, can uh, we should no more be remembered that these people were the real Egyptians. But they know. They know that. Somalia people know that and Sudanese also they know that they know they are the real Arabs <laughs> they know they are Hamites Kush and stuff they know that so it's only uh, the people that uh, don't know about the Bantu they think that oh Bantus what means that Bantu means Israel okay they changed the name. It's Bayitwell, Bayitwell, House of Elah is Israel. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They walked not in my statutes, and they despised my judgment, which if a man do, he shall even life live in them. And my Sabbaths they greatly polluted. Then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them in the wilderness to consume them by a rod for my name's sake that I should not be polluted before the heathen in whose sight I brought them out so where did they come out? from here they came out from Israel from Egypt, the better name, to go to where? Now you will see why I I I I put the forty years. Uh, I did not talk about the forty years. Now you will see it soon. I go step by step. They came out from here. They from the enemies. They came out from there. To go where? Into the wilderness, but a word for my name's sake that it should not be pol polluted before the heathen. Okay. Yet also I lifted up my hand into them in the wilderness that I would not bring them into the land which I had given them. Flowing with milk and honey, which is the glory of all lands. What is the land flows with milk and honey? This is that why I explain you that so much. Look how green this is here. And here's the equator, right, brothers and sisters? It's passed through here. Yeah. So this means even Adam comes from here. You will see it soon. I will prove it to you easily, easily. Now. He gave them the best land. He did not. He loved them so much that he gave them the best land. Then he says, "Then you kept 
in existence two living creatures one you called behemoth and the name of the other was leviathan and you separated one from the other for the seventh part where the water had been gathered together could not hold them both and you gave behemoth one of the parts that had been dried up on the third day to live in it where there are a thousand mountain let's stop here thousand mountain I have written it here why Rwanda is called the land of thousand mountains here I can show you that too Land of Thousand Mountains is Rwanda. Here, why Rwanda is Rwanda? Thousand Mountains. Where is that? Where is that? Where is the hills of Thousand Mountains? It's in Rwanda. It's in Rwanda. It's in Rwanda. Okay? Where you can see all the gorillas. Now, let's read. Why Rwanda is called the Land of Thousand Hills or and Mountains? It's amazing. For this scientific little country, the mountains are more magnificent than that of Virunga Valkanons in the northeast, and it's the bamboo forest in the world's last mountains gorillas in the world. King Kongo. That's why the land of thousand mountains. Where is Rwanda? Is Rwanda here? Is Rwanda there? Rwanda is here in the Congo. Look where Rwanda is. <laughs> Look, it's so small that you not even can. Uh, you see? But it's bigger than Israel, right? Israel is so small, uh, brothers and sisters, you cannot even see it. You can only see this point. Yeah? And uh, like I told you. Yeah, this is the land of thousand mountains. Now, he says, yeah, he says that he had these animals right there. In the land of thousand mountains, he should bring them. So, put to Leviathan, you gave the seventh part, the watery part, and you have kept them to be eaten whom you wish and when you wish. Who is Bedamut and who is Leviathan? These two animals. So he's talking about the Nile River and the other rivers that came to pass to Rwanda, like you can see it here. Goma, Rwanda, yeah, Burundi. You see, he's talking about this. In this particular verse okay okay now he says but to leave it and you gave the seventh part waterly part and you have kept them to be eaten by whom you wish and when you wish on the sixth day you commanded the earth to bring forth before you cattle wild animals wild animals in the Middle East oh, in Arabia <laughs> and creeping things and over this you placed Adam as ruler over all the works that you had made and from him we have all come the people whom you have chosen Like I told you, we come, we coming to that soon. This is this is a big topic. This is not easy to understand, but he's talking about this particular area here. He's talking about this particular area. Now watch this. 
Here I have a, a small um, thing for you. Both the crocodile and the hippopotamus were animals that could be dangerous to humans and all at that time. Yeah, hippopotamus, they eat it. They was eating him. Yeah? This means uh, uh, Leviathan and Bermud, okay? Hardly be termed for even killed by them. In addition, they lived on or in large bodies of water, in which, according to the former opinion, the cowards lived, which alone could put Yah in his place. No wonder then that both the crocodile and the hippopotamus were understood early on as personifications of this cow's power. Now, and the most I spoke again into the Moses, into Maza, say into Ara, take thy rod and stretch out thy hand upon the waters of Egypt, upon their streams, upon their rivers, and upon their bonds, and upon their pools of water, that they may become blood, and that there may be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. Brothers and sisters, easy. The complete Nile River, from here to here and here, some of these rivers pass like this, I will show you a map soon. Red. Red. Mose Maza crossed the Gihon. They crossed the Gihon. They crossed the Gihon. They did not cross the Red Sea to go to Saudi Arabia. All the names are man-made up here. And all this Kanan and stuff is a lie. We went into a land where big people was. Yeah. Kana, Hamite people, Hamatic people here. Some of us went to this particular area here, and some of us went down to here, down to here. We passed Ethiopia, we passed Somalia. They w wanted not to give us, uh, 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 to, to, to let us pass. Some of them, we fight them. Some of them, the Most High um, cursed them. That's why they have dry land and stuff like that. They cursed them because they w did not want us to pass. This is the true Bantu migration. This is the true history of the Hebrew Israelites. Now, um, what happens next? Like you can see, the waters become red. Like you can see here, the Great Lake in this map. So, Because it's 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 not clear why 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 these people have dry land here? It's Africa, yo. People would think every all of Africa I have money, have gold, have stones. These people have nothing there. What did what do these people have here? What do Somalian stuff have? But here is fruitful, is blessed, Abraham blessing, Isaac blessing, Jacob's blessing is upon these people up here. How can that be? These people cannot be Hamites, but they went into the Hamite lands to take the land of the Canaanites. It's here. Watch this. They passed the Gihon River, and the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is that compares the whole land of what? Ethiopia. So here it passed here all of it show Pierre la 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 they passed this way right here to go into a new land Hallelujah father you are so smart Here another card you can see the rivers how it uh, goes over Ethiopia Eritrea etc Yeah and People think, no, they're past the Red Sea to go to where? To Mecca? To go to Medina? This, uh, this, uh, desert here. We have a map.
Do you see this desert? And here's Israel. So this this is the desert. This this small part right here, right? Look, I will show you something. I will make the uh, card a little bit bigger. The desert is so small that it's not even two percent. It's one percent of the whole Zahara Desert. Look how big the Zahara Desert is. So, do you want to tell me if I need eight hours, yeah, with by car from here to here, even from here to there, eight hours, okay? So, and you will you want to say, yeah, that my people, my Ngunzas, my Nabis, my angels, you know that Maza was an angel. You know what kind of angel was inside of him? You know they could speak with our ancestors directly speaking to the Most High. So the Most High, yeah, put my people. It was super intellect. Twelve into this small desert let's pack our things and let's walk and all of you will start crying because it's a lie it's a damn lie and they should i think they was passing this mountain here crossing this mountains like always uh, hey moses i think we, uh, we were here again we was here before we was here before 40 years long a lie Big, uh, this is Hollywood. This is this is science, yo. Fiction. Fiction. Yeah, you can see how small this it is. But the Sahara is huge. Is big. Here in the map, you can see it better. Look, this small part right here should be the sea. Here, where I put down my. Should be this desert. Now where I put my my cursor. Pooh. Liars. Damn liars. Like you can see, the Nile River goes into to the Great Lake. Great Lake. To the Great Waters. And the antique we called it. Yet now listen carefully. Atlantis. All of this area was full of water. Full of water, Atlantis. Now, um, like I told you, it's easy, yeah. Even the lake of Tanganyika is there. Why is it so easy to catch these people? Sahara is so big as China. China is entering into the Sahara Desert all China that's why they lost they were lost they could not find uh, out of the desert but if it would be this desert right here come on come on. how sh how should it go never this is this is this is this is something this this can't be this can't be you see this can't be this this thing here this year this is a lie a damn lie ay 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 how can we be tricked like this we the spiritual people Satan is doing a great job outside there. Changing everything. Now. Who led thee through the great and terrible wilderness? Yeah. Wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions drought. Where there was no water. Who brought thee fourth water out of the rock of flint like i told you huh yeah 
Yeah, to pass. Yeah, he took the rod to pass into the um, new land that the Mosa wanted to give them. And it's not here. Where should they go? Tell me, where should they go if they come from Egypt? Yeah? Where should they go? Which kind of... Here's no lake. Here's no Red Sea. So, you want to say they passed here, that way, right here? It's a lie. It's a lie. This was their way. Wild animals. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. So, even Christ himself into the wilderness into with white animals. Now, we know that in India we have some snakes, but here, brothers and sisters, hey, if you see a cat over there, yeah, please call me. A cat. Okay? If you see a small worm, call me fast. You see? White animals in the wilderness of Sahara. In the wilderness of Sahara. Because we have here the animals comes from this uh, 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 wilderness. They come from this wilderness. And into this desert here. They are, uh, uh, they, they are also white animals. But there... It's the same like if some people say in the, you can see in Israel you will see lions and stuff. When? When did you see lions in Israel today? In this Israel there, in this Middle East today? Did you see any lions there? No. It cannot be. Did you see uh, the, 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 the Neil Furt, the, 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 these animals that I showed you before? Yeah, We talked about them. These two animals, did you see them there? Yeah, these animals shows us that these animals, they, they, they are the, the, the Nile fruit, yeah, is the Nile fruit, is the, in German, yeah, Hippopotamus and the crocodile, yeah, these are the, the animals that we can find here because they, 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 they are following this Nile river. It was eating, the, the, the crocodile was eating a lot of people off there. And the Nile fruit, this, this, this Nile fruit, Nile fruit, Hippopotamus, was a, was a delicatess. Yeah? And you can find it even to the Great Lake, the Great Valleys, to the Congo River. You could find them. Still today, you can find them there. This is the proof. So, if we talk about white animals, we're talking about white animals. Psalms 107 and 4. They wandered into the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city dwelling. Now, ah, this shows us uh, that Israel, it's in German, but this shows us that Israel is not far from, from Egypt. Yeah, so they, they found no, 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 uh, no houses, no, no cities. Yeah, from, 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 from here to there, huh? From here to there, they found no uh, here, huh? If someone is outside there, they will, you want to prove me wrong. Here, this is Israel here. From here to there. Can you see that? Hey, yo, come on. This is a lie. He put contempt upon princes and accuses them to wander in wilderness. Where there is no way. <laughs> uh, and when we departed from horror, we went through all that great, terrible wilderness, which he saw, um, which he saw by the way of mountains. Okay? Now, the thing that I want to say is, yeah, in the land of the Amorites, yeah, so, in Kadesh Barnea, now people will say, Kadesh Barnea, yeah, we know it's in the, in, in the Iraq, yeah, Watchman Yahoo, <laughs> Watchman Yahoo, it's in the Iraq, it's only five kilometers from here, 
you will see my friends you will see you will you will shout and this shout will be so great yeah that all the money that you people making in, in YouTube will be not uh, helping you because making money on YouTube is not your mission yo and the Lord anger was kindled against Israel and he made them wander in the wilderness 40 years until all the generations that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was consumed in the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abram saying unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt into the great rivers the rivers Euphrates like I told you he gave us this land here he did not give us Arabia or this small Israel right there Look at this. You see your Israel? How big your Israel is? Can you see that? The good of the white people is they are liars, but they are not so good in hiding things. Because they are very proud of their lies. They're showing even their magic tricks on the TV because they think no one will uh, will throw them down. Because the most of the people, they are not spiritual at all. Me, no one of them can trick me. I will throw them down. I will tell them things and never again he will be. In front of the people, I will say them he will die and he will die. Because this is the power the most I gave us. Power is not into the... Uh, to um, preach only we have different kind of gifts you see your Israel look is this the land where you want to go back is this the land that that uh, uh, the most I gave to Abraham is this the land the most I gave into Maza is this the land where David and Solomon dwelt and lived there and reigned there <laughs> never never it's here let us prove that second Chronicles 33 and 14 now after he built a wall without the city of David on the west side of what Gihon in the valley even to the entering in, at the fish gate and compassed about awful and raised it up a very great height and put captains of war in all ancient cities of Judah. Cities of Judah should be west side of Gihon. Hallelujah. Again, cities of Judah should be on the west side of Gihon. What we should know now? Where is Gihon, right? Brothers and sisters. Let's catch the enemy. And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is that compares the whole land of Ethiopia is in Africa. The king also said to take with you the servants of the Lord and call Solomon my son to ride upon my own mule and bring him to down to Gihon. <laughs> Look how many times Gihon is inside here. And this is the verse that we will read now. This same Hezekiah also stopped the upper water coast of Gihon. So he stopped the upper water coast of Gihon and 
brought it straight down to the west side of the city of David, and Ezekiel prospers in all his works. Now, after this, he built a wall without the city of David on the west side of Gihon, in the valley, even the entering in the fish gates. So, brothers and sisters, uh, no, if you are not stiff naked, you will understand directly down to the Gion here. This is the Nile River. They crossed the Nile River, and here Solomon and David dwelt. Do you know the movie King Solomon's Mines? This movie proves us, even here the stones, here, mystery of Solomon's mines. Where is it? Even the woman says, hey, this is King Solomon, a black guy, yo, with 12 stones on his neck. It's in Africa. It's in Africa. Easy. He talks about the fish gates, the lakes, the valley, stones, iron, and there is the city of Judah. And now watch this. This is 2 Kings 8 and 21. Let us see where the city of Judah is. So Joram went over to Zaire. And all the chariots with him, and he rose by night and smote the Edomites, which compassed him about, and the captains of chariots, and of uh, the people fled into their tents. Yet Adam revolved from under the land of Judah until this day. So, where did Joram went over? Zaire, right? Boom! What we have here? Kong. Kong. Where is Zaire, yo? Kong. Can you see that? Zaire? Zaire is Kong, yo. Here, where the equator is, there is the city of Judah, and there will be it be again. Now, let us learn about the Bantu migration fast. You have to know about Christ. Christ is not a liar, and Christ is not a liar. The Most High is not a liar, and the prophets, his prophets, came from the Bantu. They are spiritual people. We are not religious people, but we are spiritual people. We are non-believers of the book, but we are spiritual people. Because if you just believe in the book that is written by a white man, and you read, it, read the book without Holy Spirit, you can never understand. Bantu migration. When the Bantus came through, to Africa, they controlled West, Central, East, and Southern Africa. They took all of the forests to pygmies to avoid the spreading of Islam. Those from the West joined Bantungala in the forest to uh, shield against Muslims. Brothers and sisters, we know our brother Ishmael very well. This is Ishmael area. Even before he become Islam, he was already against us. All this particular area we passed through to go into the promised land, we passed the Islam. We passed uh, the Hamites. This, our brother, was never one of us. Now, he hates us. And they called themselves Bakong in the DSC Kung. Bantu also called themselves Yaoundé, a meaning in Jew, Judah. 
which is the same capital of Cameroon today, Yahundi. Most of the tribes in Zambia and Southern Africa can trace their roots from West and East Africa. Most of the tribes kept the Samba or Sambela. Sambo means seven. Shabbat, which is still being practiced in Brazil and Cuba. Others have kept the circumcision of male among African tribes. Others lost their traditions. Because these people know us very well, they have some traditions that looks like the same like ours, but we are not the same people. But they are Shemitic. Yeah, they are Shemitic. So they have some of our traditions. And the other most important thing here is that the circumcision and that we kept the Sabbath that came with Romans, uh, Portuguese people, uh, French people, Belgic people, Islam, all of them was against our traditions. Even in the um, 20th century, prophets came out and all of them was against those people fighting against the enemy. And they was totally against our tradition. They was uh, trying to rape in always our women, to intermarriage with us, uh, they give us sicknesses, so everything that uh, happens in the Deuteronomy 28 happens to the bunch of people, like also to the people in America and everywhere else we scattered. Now, like I told you, um, that uh, Israel must be in Africa because. Um, it's from there yeah, that the Israelite went into slavery. It's not from the Middle East, but it's from Africa. They went into the slavery. Like uh, the Messiah prophesies. And uh, another thing is, as you can see, everything here is wood. In California and everywhere, you can see now, um, um, yeah, you can see everywhere is uh, fire, the wood is going is burning and uh, a lot of things the wilderness is burning but look at this even here starts from southern Africa all this is wilderness full of woods if it would start in southern Africa or Mozambique or Angola all this countries here will be will burn but why do you never hurt something like that the here is fire and there is fire like in the California or in other places in America or in other particular areas in, around the world it's because the most high is living here now let's go to the Bantu uh, migration when Bantus came to Africa they controlled West Central East and Southern Africa they took all the flowers to pygmies to avoid the spreading of Islam those from the West joined Bantungala in the forest to shield against Muslims and they called themselves Bakongo in DSC also called themselves Yamunde. Most of the tribes Zambian in Southern Africa can trace their roots from West and East Africa. Most of the tribes kept the Samba Shabbat which is still being practiced in Brazil and Cuba. This is what we have read before. Most of them were killed if they kept the Shabbat. Bantus were also given title by Muslim as the people of the book. This is because Arab stated trading in slave trade thousand years before the European slave trade. Hence informed the Portuguese about the people of the book. People cursed by Yah, yeah, according to Deuteronomy 28. Now, the Muslims also called the Western Sudan Yahundi, which means the lost tribe of Israel. The Hebrews were also led captive into many African nations by many indigenous tribes, the West African Eastern Coast. That's why some of the people are mixed from us. Yeah, and even uh, the, the people that went into slavery, they went into slavery with the Hamites. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of problems with the Hamites. And this is the problem that we have because the Hamites and the Israelites, they had one land mass. 
Africa. It's always sold on the basic of losing in war. Tribesmen will sell Hebrews directly to the European and Muslims. Now, these are the uh, countries, yeah, or lands where we come from. Yeah, you have to come from one of these countries or lands if you want to be a Hebrew Israelite.